All right, so we are going to talk about the eligibility criteria. So as I stated, uh, you know, this eligibility criteria helps us in checking that if the candidate has the right package or not, and if they are fitting into the current situation which we have. Current situation in the sense, when we talk about the recruitment process, right? So the first thing that comes along with the JD is the budget as well. So for a recruiter, it is very important that if your skills are matching, which is absolutely fine, but if your, uh, you know, package is not matching, then it becomes very difficult. Now the reason why you may be very good, you know, the candidate is really very awesome. But the challenge is if the company budget does not fit in, they would not be able to hire. In extreme cases or in very, you know, uh, rare scenarios, what happens here is if you have to hire that person, you'll have to take multiple approvals, multiple, you know, people has to approve the change in the package. So it is not an easy thing because once your eligibility criteria has been defined, the eligibility criteria will always remain constant and that eligibility uh, criteria will be linked with your compensation grade, will be linked with your compensation profile, right? Then it will be linked with your allowance plan and again, finally, it will also be linked with your package when you create it. So this eligibility criteria is a very important part. All right. So any questions on this? Anybody has any questions? No? Okay, if you don't have questions, then I will move ahead. So if you see, uh, there are there are multiple job profiles like CEO, CTO, and then we have director, work day consultants, right? And there is a task which says create compensation eligibility rule. So this is the task that we are going to actually demonstrate on the tenant. But the unfortunate part is the tenant is not coming up. Okay, so I'm just trying to bring that up. All right, can you all see the remote desktop? I mean, basically, do you have a black screen in front of you? Yes. Okay. All right, yeah, it's coming slow, but it is coming. Just give me one more minute. I think it is just the you know start of the week, so still you know working in a different manner altogether. I think yes, everything is working absolutely fine. Yeah, I hope there will be no challenges. Okay, all right then guys. So the task is create compensation eligibility rule. Okay, so this is the task. Create compensation eligibility rule. So here we just set up the condition. What condition are we going to set up? So let's say I'm going to set up a condition for workday consultant okay and I'll add the code 
now if you see this is just a text box okay and this is the category so category basically tells you that with the you know different different job profile do you want to change the notice period eligibility generally notice period is something which is going to be common throughout the organization no one can give get an exception so this is a company wide policy right so we'll not make any changes here and let's suppose that you already have a condition which was created before and you just want to use it so here is an option which says copy condition from rule right so this is the one i'm talking about copy condition from rule so that rule which means that system is already there in the place okay and i just want to reuse it i don't want to create a new condition but i just want to use the old one so what i can do i can just look it for it and find it right see all of them are conditions but i'll not use this because i will have to ask you to create a new one so basically what happens here is we are just adding the condition that on what condition the value will be searched okay so i will say the source field would be job profile okay so job profile i think we created a, a job profile right so let's try to use the same word not the work the consultant but the account executive that is what i remember right so basically what here we are what we are trying to do here is anybody who has applied for this job profile it is account executive so we are trying to search that person through this condition the job profile for which you know is equal equal to or you may say i don't want this value i want to use something else it does not give me basically i would want that in the selection list in the selection list means whoever has applied for this job profile okay so let's say 100 people have applied for the job profile and how many of them are actually falling in this eligibility criteria that we will come to know when we set up this so this is just the half work not the full work okay half work means i'm just setting the condition here and then when the condition is set up i will just connect it with the the condition is connected with the compensation grade or the compensation grade profile then the recruiter will know that with this eligibility rule what is the package or the range of salary that i can go ahead and look for okay did you get it guys what i'm trying to explain here or is there a confusion yeah here we are we already created some job profile so what we are now trying to do is we need to eligible the grade salary grade composition grade for that one so we are trying we are creating the eligibility rule and uh, link it with the job job profile right so that's yes, the eligibility rule how much yeah yeah so this is what we are trying to do yeah okay and i'm just trying to put a value but i'm not able to get it because in the relational operator i want the list of the job value let me see this one values that specified in the filter comparison value okay let me see let me click on okay and see what happens it should ideally okay so here what we are seeing is we are trying to give a, a you know a description that for account executive those who have applied the job profile which is equal to value specified in the filter so that value we have to specify and that what value we are going to do is we are going to put the value 
uh, and this is the value that we have created, right? So the last time when we created, I, I think we created an account executive job profile. And that value has to come here. But I really don't know why this tenant is not allowing me. Ideally, it should give me a list. And from that list, I will select the values. So this relational operator is the problem. And I will try to edit it and see. Okay. Give me a minute. But the concept is clear. I mean, is there any is there any questions on that? What we are trying to do here? Yes. Anybody has any questions here? No. No. Okay. Right, so let me just try to find out and I can add multiple conditions. It's not that only I have one value, but I can add multiple conditions guys. So I'm just trying to look at the right. Uh, I think this is my right value to be very honest. Relational operator. Yes. The field is a wrong. Okay, that is a problem. So frequently used. See in the selection list. Okay. So whoever has applied for that, I can actually come, you know, compare the value. I can pick the value from here. So let me now find it. Okay. So I think that job profile is not there. Um, I don't know if it is still there. Let me try and search it. No, it's not there. Do you remember uh, what was the job profile we created? Akshat? Was it W E one? Uh, yeah, yeah. W E one. I think uh, account executive uh, iPhone mid commercial. W D L M one iPhone. Job code. It's actually not come. But that's fine. I mean, I, I hope you understand that, right? How we have to put the value here. For whatever job profile we are creating, it should be coming up here. Okay, let me search it in the other way in the tenant. Maybe uh, as the tenant is refreshed, you know, it could have been deleted. But let me search it here. WDL E1. Okay, M1 if I can. Uh, that is WDLE1 hyphen account executive. WDLE1. Okay. Account executive. Let's search it. All right. Looks like this job profile is not available. That's the reason I'm not getting that value also. But I'll try to search it again. No, I don't have that value. Okay. Um, what I can do is I can quickly go ahead and create a job profile. Okay, I'll just put only a few things. Okay, let me say I'm creating it on 10th. All right, I'll just put here account executive. Okay, is there anything mandatory? No. All right, then I'll just go ahead and click on OK. Let's you have not selected. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I did not select what? Uh, include job code in name. No, no, include code, job code in name. Okay, let me try and edit it. Include code in the name. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to add job family? Let me see that job family is available or that is also gone. Previous so this is an op. Yep, that is also gone. It's not there. So that is another reason, guys. You know, which you will face that. Okay. Now you see, I got the account executive. Right. I want to remove that now. I don't want to keep that. 
now you see what I've done is I've selected the job profile okay this field captures all the available job profiles that you have all right and in particularly I'm selecting account executive so whoever has applied for that account executive position and whoever has this job profile right they are part of this eligibility rule now okay so half of the work is done the condition is set up now the next part that we do here is basically set up the compensation grade and profile okay so for that there's another task the task is create compensation grade now you see this is the effective date um i'll put something like 14th and if you see this one pay range segments so i told you right there is a concept that there is no fixed package when it, you know a job profile is created there is no fixed package what you will get is you will get a range of salary now what will be that range so let's say I'm hiring account executive and that account executive I'm hiring or looking for two years of experience and I'll give a package of let's say 400,000 or I can say 4 lakhs to let's say 16 16 lakhs or 1600,000 so what we got we got a range of salary right now that range of salary is divided into equal parts and that equal parts is basically called as segments here okay so if you see i'll show you here you see the number as four right now i don't want to keep four let's say i want to put eight but it will not allow me what does it say the number of segments must be three four or five so your salary range whatever you are putting let's say it's four to sixteen so if i put three it will be divided into three equal parts if i put four it will be divided into four equal parts and if i put on five so it will be divided into five equal parts and then it will be named as segment one segment two three four midpoint right the top one right so that that is how it works so let me show it to you i'll put four and then click on okay and this is just the compensation grade right now not the profile so i have this grade at the moment and i'll put a grade so what i'm doing is w d l e not l e m one underscore for account executive right right this is just the text box description okay you can just leave it now you see the options that come here is base pay element eligibility rule currency and frequency so base pay element so as i, I you know discussed with you earlier when we configure the compensation grade this compensation grid is generally your fixed amount of money you know this is not your variable component so what do we do with that so the base pay how exactly it has been divided it is not our concern that is a, a concern of a finance team they will break down the salary but for me the fixed part is fixed so we call it as a base pay okay so in the base pay element we always put in as base pay as a best practice but in case someone wants to have a you know other value the company or the organization where you are working for which you are configuring they will let you know as you saw that today we did not get the option for location while well, Tisha was creating a location 
she did not get a value for location so this tenant does not have that value that's the reason she did not get it otherwise no tenant uh, will leave that right so here also you have the same thing that as a best practice uh, we always have to keep that base pay element otherwise it is of no use all right then you see the eligibility rule so we created the eligibility rule right so what we can do is we can link the eligibility rule now if i try to search it great you see account executive has come and i'm linking that compensation rule with this compensation grade okay so this is what the linking is now it is not mandated if you see you don't have a red asterisk right you don't see that so what does that mean it is not mandated but as we are creating the eligibility rule it is important that we use it and one compensation grade can be attached with multiple eligibility rule guys okay it is not necessary that you only use one so there can be multiple eligibility rules okay so currency let's say we are looking for inr or india so we can put inr or if you're looking for us you can put usd and when you are creating a salary it should be generally annual okay now you see this section which i was talking about pay range so i said the minimum year i'm going to offer is 400000 right and what i'm going to do now i'm going to put the highest which is the segment for top 1600 thousand now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and click on this box if you see calculate segments so once i check on this my segment one is defined two is defined three is defined four is already there and then i have got a midpoint also right so this is how your compensation grade is actually defined okay so on the right hand side i don't have anything and all this information that you see here that is all we need okay so now once this configuration is complete i have linked my eligibility rule okay so with this eligibility rule when this compensation grade is fulfilled this is the compensation grade that i need to attach on the job profile as well so there if you remember okay, let me show it to you uh, and we have to open the other tab okay let's try to search it uh, always refreshes okay There you go this is my job profile right so i'll just go in and then i'll show you this is the compensation part now here you see impacted eligibility rule the eligibility rule has come up here now how did it come up any idea we created this this is my compensation rule and that's the reason it is now linked here 
Now, if I edit it, I can add the compensation grade also here. Let me just show it to you. Okay, job profile, edit. And before that, I'll have to create it. Okay, so my um, compensation grade is now created. So I got the name, the default things, and then the base pay. So if you see, this is a range, 4 lakhs to 16 lakhs, or 400,000 to 1,600,000. ,000. And then that is your total base pay, 4 lakhs, and then crosses to 16 lakhs. Okay, so now I can actually go ahead and edit it and go into the compensation section. This is my compensation section, right? So whatever grade I have created, you see, it comes here. But here, you cannot add more than one. That you cannot do. OK, so always we have to keep in mind that my eligibility rule that I'm creating that is linked properly with compensation grade. And then once the compensation grade is also defined. I can go ahead and. Attach it onto. Where I can attach it onto the job profile. And then there is no problem. The recruiter will be able to see it and the other people those who are associated with that you know like hr department the finance department they can also see the values which is there right any questions up to now guys does it look straightforward or is it not straightforward yes or no please tell me I'm sorry, but I'm not able to hear you. Am I audible? No questions here. It's okay. Straightforward for me. Uh, Devashi, there, there is an option like a create job benchmark. Where do you see that? Uh, just uh, scroll down. Create this benchmark. One, create benchmark job. Okay. Yeah, so this is this is something which is a part of your recruitment guys, uh, you know, we are not going to get into this Because as I stated right that job profile and everything is a part of your recruitment also But you just want to take a look into that We can just click on it. There is no problem You see that Basically it, it gives you the you know uh, certain questionnaires that okay. you want to give some kind of weightage or you know a percentile or something you can add that but again this is not used you know at our situation because it has to be again linked with these different sections if you see here right so we generally do not use it in your real time also you will rarely use this why because the value which is being populated here is asked from the candidate now candidate basically means when they go ahead and apply for the job profile right there are mm -hmm. certain questionnaires which they have to fill in they have to answer certain questions now first of all your question would be uh, what is your overall experience right the total work experience that you have then how much is your relevant work experience and then when he then when it talks about the uh, you know um, the overall work experience that is where you have some additional questions so how many skills you have acquired how many projects that you have worked on what are the different projects who are the different organizations with which you have worked right so all those become a part of this questionnaire and then that completely you know gives an idea about a candidate whether the candidate is suiting the profile or not suiting and this is the reason why uh, uh, you know any any uh, a recruiter or a you know a recruitment firm or a company is able to understand whether this company uh, this person who has applied for the job is the right person or not 
so you will have that certain feeling in that way right okay huh. and there is one more option like difficulty level or mm -hmm. previous yeah. yeah 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 that that we use honestly and why we use that i'll tell you uh where is the characteristics Give me a minute. I'll go back. Yes, this is the one. Characteristics. So if you see here, difficulty to fill, critical job, right? So difficulty to fill means um, that whether this, uh, you know, uh, the person whom you're looking for, whether the job profile that you created, how difficult it is for an individual you know as a recruiter to fill that to get people hired on that position so this is just like a performance metric for the recruiter okay that if it's a hard profile okay it's a you know something which uh, uh, you're not expecting them to close very quickly you mark it as hard and then you will see as a recruiter recruitment manager you will see that if the person has been able to you know fulfill which kind of you know um, positions is it the difficult ones that they have done it um, early is it the hard ones which they have done it early or is it the easy ones which they have done it early right so this is a kind yeah. of a metric yeah, okay. sorry. after the hiring after the hiring uh, they need to sit this time no 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 it's not about hiring it's about the job profile Right now, you just fill it in. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So what we do here is, uh, you know, we put that value, whether it is difficult, hard, or easy. This is like a performance metric for your recruiter. Okay. So when their uh, appraisals will be done, right, or their monthly review will happen then you will know that whether this job which they had fulfilled was it an easy job was it a difficult job or was it a hard job which they have fulfilled the position right so this is the main reason of uh, you know putting this as characteristics here okay and uh, there is an option like a pay rate types pay rate types yeah. Is it in Affords. this? Yeah. This one. This one. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Period. No, this is something uh, which is very country specific. Country specific means, uh, you know, some countries have a specific pay range. You know, there is a minimum um, defined wage. Okay. That you cannot go beyond. You know, below that. And this is generally used there. So for us, it is not useful. Okay. And for that pay rate type, it has to be configured. You know, if I just try to put it here, you have to find the value and the pay rate type. Okay. So for us, it is of no use. Okay. So when you go to certain European markets or, you know, certain countries where there is a lot of regulations right like China if you go there there's a lot of regulation there a lot of rules that has to be followed so in those cases this is what is defined and uh, uh, you know where where you do not have a, a annual package or monthly you know it's more like a hourly part pay rate that you get so it will be something like that okay does it make sense so let's summarize we created job profile in the job profile we added compensation so we linked the eligibility rules to the compensation right yeah correct and we'll have yeah, to link uh, eligibility rules. yeah so here uh, in the compensation the compensation grade and the eligibility um, 
impacted eligibility right so if we open uh, both the links uh, it, it will open the same page uh, not this one uh, okay which, which page you want to open uh, in the job profile uh, uh, can you go to uh, yeah here click on save I mean okay okay uh, yeah in the conversation section we have two URLs okay I will go there one is for your eligibility criteria another is for your job uh, you know compensation ah, yeah 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 if you open both uh, it will navigate to the same page no these are two different things the compensation okay. grade will take you to the compensation grade page so this is my compensation grade page right yeah see the name we have taken is same that is the cause of confusion right mm, yeah if you click on eligibility rule it will take you to this place this is my eligibility rule this is my eligibility rule it is going to take me to this place that is how it works see? okay got it yeah so we can do we can give any type of name right instead of uh, the same no yeah, you can you can give any name I mean you can actually yeah, put yeah. in uh, you know uh, I generally keep it same the the reason is I know that it is a you know eligibility rule and I don't get okay. confused with the job profile that is the reason I keep the same name because in you know in uh, in tenants where you have a lot of job profiles available, you will have a repeated names also with the job profile. Okay. So, I just wanted to make sure that there is no confusion. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, and there are a lot of segment in the gray. Like any particular reason, like in purpose, they are there. Sorry, I, I did not understand that, Madhu. Can in you repeat your grade, question, please? In the grade, we have seen a lot of segments, right? While giving higher range, the lower range, we have seen a lot of segments, right? In the grade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Segment one, two, three, four. Reason. Yeah. Hmm. Any particular reason for that? Yeah, I wanted to ask that question. So anybody can guess what could be the reason behind it? The criteria of the compensation segments, like uh, what are the uh, like basic uh, basic pay and something in four four criteria criteria like uh, there's an uh, curricular activities amount there they are being divided that thing or LTA they are dividing that thing. They're setting this thing. Mm, not Another. exactly. Actually, this is all about the comp ratio. It starts like 80 percentage, 100 percentage to 120 percentage. You know, so uh, we should you know always choose like midpoint, and then you know uh, according to uh, uh, we need to check with our internal parity, and then you know, uh, uh, we'll, you know uh, we'll be able to put this amount. So that's what. Yes, it, it is something very close with that. Yeah, what you are saying it is something very close. See what happens guys um, You know as a recruiter when you will try to look for somebody, okay You will try to find somebody who is, who is coming in your lower segments, you know, like segment one to why? Because you know you Have a high possibility that the person will be retained Retained in the sense the person will stay there for a longer period of time in the organization but if you hire somebody already at the top segment right so it is very difficult to give an appraisal next year because you are already at the highest uh, level of salary so when you are at the highest level of salary and when you want to when your appraisal is done you may have seen I mean there are there are employees who do not get a very good hike they may get 2%, 3%, 4%, right? The reason is because they are already on the highest package. So, you know, for them, a special approval is required. But if you are on a lower segment, like segment one or two, a lot of companies, what they do is they try to normalize the salary. So sometimes they even give 20% hike. You know, if, if, you, if you look for an enterprise organization, 
so this range actually helps to retain your employees retain in the sense as a manager it is very impactful because you know um, let's say someone has joined your organization and you know down the uh, line six months to eight months they have resigned but they are very good they they are really excellent in their work and you do not want that person to go and you see that okay i have uh, you know a room of improvement i can actually increase the salary so that's play that's the you know place where your segment comes into picture because that gives you a room that okay i have this uh, option i can actually try and retain or i can give a good appraisals or you know a lot of things comes in manager's hand uh, and workday gives you that facility okay i mean does it make sense if it crosses uh, segment 4 then it will be difficult right yes of course see you have given a limit it you have given a limit to you know the hiring that i cannot go beyond this i mean that is my budget but if i'm going beyond this then there is a problem right okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the major reason why we have uh, you know segments defined if you want to use it you can but generally you know in workday whenever you have to configure this is something which you will have to put in and this gives you a lot of uh, you know agility or flexibility in the you know giving the package okay got it all right then guys uh, so we have completed one topic as, as of now which is your eligibility rules and then compensation grade when there is one more thing which is going to come with this compensation grade profile the concept i have already given to you here the only thing will change is uh, you know the compensation grade that you have put in it is not necessary that we put the values you know there but for that we will have to create a profile where the value will be mandatory where your eligibility rule will also be mandatory. Previously, you saw that the eligibility rule in compensation rate while we were creating that was not mandatory. But when we 